So I'm going to start this video off by just right away uh, changing my hit sound to a custom hit sound. A nice hit sound from uh, Half-Life 2, I think. We'll grab uh, uh, the Impact Hard one. I think that's good. Um, we're just going to rename it to, uh, I guess, hit sound. That should make it work. Just throw it in our uh, TF2 custom folder. And uh, voila, you know, no more outdated ding noise. Now we have this. Yeah, so Spode from the future here. Uh, turns out that hit sound wasn't really loud enough. And I'll play a clip here. You can kind of hear it if you listen, if you strain. Yeah, so obviously that needed to be quite a bit louder. So using um, audio editing software to just, you know, boost the gain on that sound just a bit. So it should be a, a little bit easier to hear. You'll notice that in the rest of the video. So really just go ahead and um, uh, queue for capture the flag. Don't bother queuing for any other game modes because they suck. Um, and you just wait two hours to get into a game. Alright, so we got in the game. Um, at this point you just want to go ahead and go over to uh, Pyro. That's the best class in the game. You really. Uh, no reason to play anything else. So, uh, you just want to walk forward, you know, uh, locate opposite color, and to go ahead and light them on fire, which I'm good at having. Glad to see that the hit sound is, uh, working, working great. You really gotta make sure you know that you're hit the enemy right there. As we can see, uh, there's a main fire on the Apparently they can't kick him because he will crash the game, which I, uh, I do believe is definitely possible. Uh, will he do it? Maybe. Oh, well, yeah, looks like, uh, looks like he did crash the game. They were right. That's, uh, TF2 in 2020.